Hi y'all, it's Christina with Stina Resells and I am here with another Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing. I do a lot of unboxings on this channel if you're new here and if you're interested in that kind of content, make sure you keep an eye on the channel, subscribe, like the videos, and of course, leave comments because I absolutely love interacting with you guys. So today I'm opening a Thread Up Fun Box and listen, I do unboxings every week, um, post them usually on Thursdays on the channel, and then do recaps on the weekend. So I'm no stranger to doing an unboxing, but sometimes, and I don't know if it's because it's the holidays, but sometimes I get like just really excited to open the box. And I'm having like a lot of anticipation about this fun box. I'm just like dying to open it. So um, hopefully it's a good one. I did order this one super recently. Um, maybe like a week and a half ago and it just arrived. I ordered two. This one arrived and it's kind of the size of like a normal, you know, fun box. And then the other one that arrived, which is also a fun box, is in a larger box. So I think that's really interesting. So, um, that one I will open probably next week. I'm trying to, because it's holidays and busy. I'm really just doing one a week right now. Um, so hopefully this box lives up to all of my excitement for it and we will get into it. This one came from Pennsylvania. Um, the prices of the fun boxes did go up recently. They were 32. They are now $34. As you can see, I have not opened it yet. It's all taped up. And let's see. So you do get a guarantee of 10 items. Sometimes you get more than that. So we'll have to see. There's some air pockets. So even though it's the smaller box, it's not totally full. I'll give you guys another look. Kind of on top there. And I was watching, is it Lindsay Clark? Hi, Lindsay, if you're watching. Was watching her recent um, fun box unboxing. It was full of a lot of clothing items. So, And I was wondering if we ordered ours on the same day and if mine was going to be the same way. So we will see. Okay, so the first item that is in here is a bra. It's a really pretty kind of teal or aqua color. Um, it is made with tags. It is by the brand Cacique, which is like the Lane Bryant Intimates Collection. Um, this one is a size 44B, and the retail is $42.50. Um, this will sell well. It's super cute. It's got these little kind of peach straps up at the top. Um, so that's good. People seek out Cacique. So that's awesome. Okay, next item. It looks like we've got like, a, is it a scarf or a wrap? I don't know. It's a really pretty kind of ombre white and orange, almost like a tie-dye type of look. It looks like it's a scarf. It does have a tag on it. Don't know what this is. Um, is this from India? I don't know. It might be. It says Hardee's, but then it looks like there's a different currency listed on here, which is really interesting to me. Is that like rupees? I don't know. So anyway, that's really interesting. I don't see any other, sorry, I know I'm covering myself up on here, but I don't see any other tags or anything, so I'll have to look over that more closely, but that's really, that's really cute. New with tags is always good. Okay, next up, I see a glasses case here. Sheen, so not super expensive. Let's see what's inside of here, because it's not always the same brand as this on the outside. I've learned that the hard way. Um... There's no markings on it, except that it says that it's made in China, so probably a sheen. There's the glasses. You can see my light ring. But those were actually super cute. Um, I go through glasses like a crazy person, so I probably, I may even hold on to these, because they're not going to resell for much. Um, maybe I'll throw those in like my baseball bag or something for baseball days. Okay. Next up, we have a pair of probably shapewear, I'm guessing is what this is. Let's see. Donna Laurent, Loren, 
Donna Loren, designed in France. There's no price. Oh, here we go. It's a size extra large, um, $24.99. These are white. Doesn't say anywhere specifically about it being shapewear, but that's what it looks like to me. So I will have to look those up. Okay, next up, we've got a pair of socks. They say cool socks, women's, mean girls, fit sizes 5 to 10. On Wednesday, we wear pink, mean girls. That's from the Mean Girls movie. So those may actually do okay. I should get those listed in case someone is looking for a good gift. Okay, next item, we have like a gold glittery choker just as fashion jewelry it looks like kind of like just see-through with like some glitter on it so I may put that in as like a gift with purchase or something okay oh we have another one of the cool socks brand this one doesn't have like a um it's not from like a movie or anything. Um, it does have a cuss word on them. So I'm not going to say it, but it says I'm a ray of, we'll just say freaking sunshine. Um, not really sure if I should be showing that on the camera. So I'm going to cover it up. But those are cute. Funny socks. All right, next up. I don't know what this is. Okay, is it like a, a, a knee brace? That's what I'm thinking it is. Um, it's got a brand name on it. Here, like a sports brand, but I'm pretty sure it's a knee brace. That's what it looks like. Yeah. So you put that over your knee, wrap it around. I had one of these at one point when I hurt myself, but I don't know where it is, so... I may need to hold on to that because we get lots of injuries around here, especially with my two boys that play so much sports. Okay. And I actually don't know um, if you can resell these, maybe. I was going to list a bone stimulator that my mom wasn't using anymore. And then when I went to go try to list it on eBay, they were like, you cannot list this. This is medical supplies. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, I won't then. So not sure if that falls under the same category. We'll have to look it up. All right. Next up, we have by the brand Fit Kicks. It's a special edition active lifestyle footwear. Daily denim. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. I guess you just wear these on the go. Maybe they're kind of like those barefoot barefoot shoes. It says, um, slip into comfort, traveling, yoga, cruising, exercising, a daily wardrobe staple that combines the casual style of your favorite blue jeans with the functional comfort of fit kicks. Huh? Okay. Well, I'll have to look all this up. There's the information about it. Maybe someone's looking for those. All right, last item in the box. Oh, no, 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 just kidding. There's more. Okay, we have, um, see, this happens a lot, you guys. This is not the first time that I've forgotten items that were in the box. Okay, we have, um, like, a zipper pull here, like a little attachment. I don't reckon, oh, wait, let's see. The brand is Jewel, J-E-W-E-L-L. -E -L. I'll have to look it up. I'm not familiar. Um, looks like you just attach it to a zipper. There. It's pretty sturdy. Looks new. Another item here. It's a, another piece of like fashion jewelry. Um, a little shiny like gold cuff. Let's see. Be like super fancy got that there okay now last item in the box 
I got super excited because I saw a box within the box. I don't recognize this branding on the outside of the box, but it's a really nice pink box. No, no other tags on it. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look, it's a book. Uh, it's the Danielle Steele dating game book. Oh my goodness, how fun is this? Okay, it does not look to be um, red at all. It's closed. And this cover is like embroidered. I don't know if you guys can really see that in the picture. And then it says 316. Oh, nice. And then it's stamped on the top. So I would say that, that is new. There is a tag in here. So let's look at that. Put this back in here. Which the box is not in super great condition. It's kind of torn here and here, but the book is definitely new. Um, let's see. Oh, this is actually something from France in Paris. It says Olympia. I don't speak French. I know one of my subscribers speaks French, so maybe she can say Olympia Latin. And um, there is a website on here, so I might have to look it up. But this is kind of what it says. Let's see if you guys can read that. My camera's like a little struggling a little bit today. Sorry about that. Doesn't have a price or anything on here, so I will have to look it up. But I think that's so cool. I love when we get really interesting things in the fun boxes. It makes it interesting. So I will look this up and probably try to list it soon because maybe somebody would be interested in getting this for a gift um, for the holidays. Somebody who's a big Danielle Steele fan. Um, unless it's not actually the book. You don't think it's like a journal, do you? I don't know. I'm scared to open it. I don't want to mess it up. It's not. Oh my gosh. It's not a book. See, I'm glad I opened it. Okay. So it looks like the book. You guys, it's a bag. How fun is that? It's a clutch. Or I guess it could be a box. I think it's a clutch. Handmade with love in Italy. Okay. Which doesn't make sense because it was sold in France. Um, how fun. This is so fun. Cool. I love this. So yeah, I guess it could be a box. It could be a clutch. I'll have to look up on the website and see how it's being marketed. But ah, this is really neat to me. I'm like super excited. I'm glad I opened that. I was like thinking it was pages. It looks like pages. And it, it wasn't. So I'm glad I opened it for you guys. So anyways, I think that's super cool. I will have to look it up and get that listed. Definitely my favorite item in the box. The most fun. Um, anyways, thanks for joining me. Let's see how many items we got. So I got the box clutch. Not sure what it is. So that's one. The cuff bracelet, two. Knee brace, three. Choker, four. Socks, five, six. Zipper pool, seven. Shapewear, eight. Sunglasses, nine. Scarf 10. The little fit kicks 11. And then the bra is 12. So I got, of course, you know, the fashion jewelry. Um, I don't know. I feel like they owe me a couple of extra items when they send that stuff. So, um, but anyways, I got a few extra items. Super excited about that Danielle Steel box bag, whatever it is. I'm going to look it up and do some research on it. So, Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you've ordered a fun box lately from Pennsylvania, if it's been similar, um, I'll have to rewatch Lindsay's video and see where hers was from if we got them at the same time um, and compare it. So anyways, drop it in the comments and I will see you guys this weekend for another Thread Up Rescue Box recap. Bye.